Hi there, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to hook up a basic 12 volt power supply into the camper van. So, I'm going to do a quick run through of the components that we have first of all. I've got the prices wrote down as well, so I can let you know how much I paid and where I got them from. So, we'll start with the, the big leisure batteries. So, they are 105 amp hours each. They cost me £90, which is about $106. I got them from a place called Eurocar Parts here in the UK. They've got physical stores and an online store as well. Um, moving on, we've got the, the cables to join the two batteries together. We've got the positive and negative. I got those from Halfords, which is another automotive store here in the UK. Uh, the cables cost me £3.50 each, which is approximately $4. Um, as well as the cables, I got the, the terminals for the batteries, the simple terminals. Again, they were from Halfords. They cost me £2.50 each for the, the positive and negative, uh, which is about $3 each. Um, I also got these terminals here, which they're quick release, but also they've got points on where you can attach different components. I thought that would be handy later on when I want to fit the split charge relay system into the van. So I bought those from Amazon and they cost me £12 for the pair, which is approximately $14. And finally, I've got the, the power supply plate. Um, this has got the, the 12 volt cigarette lighter and then it's also got twin fast charge USB. So again, that came from Amazon and that cost me £18, which is about $22. The reason I chose this one is because it came with the cables. The cables were already made up, so I didn't have to wire anything up. So very quickly before I go into the van, I'm just going to start connecting some of the bits together just to make it easier because obviously I've got more space in here than I have in the van. Um, this system is very, very simple. It's literally red to red, black to black. So even an idiot like me can get it right. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so I'm just gonna connect the, the two terminal leads first onto the terminals. Don't wanna do them too tight at the minute though because they need to be fastened onto the, the batteries in the van once they're in place. On the quick release terminals, they are Allen bolts, but I'm just tightening them finger tight at the moment and I'll tighten them up properly once we're in the van. Um, with regards to the simple kit, even the terminals have, have got NNP for negative and positive. Like I say, it's literally colour coded to, to keep it dead simple to not get it wrong. Right, so I'll be right back and we'll be in the van. Right, so we're in the van, so we're going to fit the faceplate first of all. I've pre-drilled the two holes ready for the, the sockets to, to go into, and I've put pilot holes ready for this to screw into. So I'll just fasten this up, just be two ticks. So for the sockets, they just push through from the front and they've got a, a little nut that tightens up on the back. Right, so now it's just a case of connecting the wires up. Right, so I've just had to move the camera quickly just to, to let you see what I'm doing. Um, I thought it'd be better to focus on the, the batteries and, and whatnot rather than my pretty face. So, I'm going to connect the, the wires up for the, the power sockets first. So we've got the, the positive. It's marked on, by the way, which is which. And then the, the negative. So 
so then we're going to connect the the batteries up so we'll take the terminal connections off one at a time Needs to tighten that one up a little bit. Just drop that down there for now. And then the same again with the, the negative terminals. I will redo these off camera. I'm just trying to do it quickly just for the sake of the video. So from there, we connect the, the cables up that go to the, the power supply. being careful because I don't want to lose a little washer. And then the same again with the positive. And that's it. It's literally as simple as that. So they're connected, and I can see from the front here that power's going through to it. So I'll just spin the camera around, and I'll let you have a quick look. Right, so I've just moved the camera around. So I'm going to start off just to show you this working. So we've got the cigarette lighter. So hopefully you can see that this is illuminated there, so there's power going to that. And then for the, the USBs, just open this up. Again, I'm not sure if you can see there's, there's power going to that. I just drop my phone in just to show that it's, it's coming up charging there now. So there's power going to that as well. So, that's it for today guys hopefully you've liked this video hopefully it'll help people get the confidence to tackle installing 12 volt systems into their camper van as well as always we'd be very very grateful if you give the give the video a like and if you've enjoyed the content please consider subscribing thanks for watching our van our way <laughs>